Well, it's not like every day a Mario game comes out. So, I got Mario and Luigi RPG 3. Otherwise known as Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Is this the title we've been waiting for you for a long time? Or is this an RPG that falls flat? We're going to have to find out right now. So, to start this review off right, we're going to start with the story. Now, the story starts out with a disease called the Blarbs, which causes the, um, the toad people to blow up and roll around like a balloon helplessly. So, Tweedledum and Tweedledee are off to find a cure. Then, Bowser tries to kidnap the princess again. I am so glad that that is not the story. Because if that was, that would have been very disappointed and very, just very wow. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. So, um, anyway, Mario kicks his can and Bowser runs off to meet a wizard. Now, he doesn't necessarily run off to meet the wizard. He just runs off and finds a merchant, a mysterious merchant, that says, Jackpot, you won. So he's basically like, okay, I won. And anything to really take out the Mario Bros. So he gobbles up a vacuum shroom in one bite. <laughs> Which is actually, you know, what would you expect from a big dinosaur with huge teeth? So, once again, Bowser goes back for revenge. And he uncontrollably sucks up the Mario Bros and Peach and Starla which is a, a new character uh, so Starlo is basically Chip from Sonic Unleashed she helps Mario and Luigi throughout their whole entire adventure she helps them with their moves and stuff she's like they're basically like she tells them all this stuff just like the role of Chip from Sonic Unleashed and it's what's kind of ironic in that game. Starlo makes up a name as Chippy, which is kind of weird. Chip, Chippy, and she kind of plays the same exact role as Chip. So that I found really weird. I'm like, that's really ironic. Ah. Uh, so. Okay, kids, it's time for the gameplay. Alright, now, one part of the gameplay that I really love is the battles. I can't get enough of those battles. I mean, they're really good. I love the battles. Uh, especially using Bowser. Um, this is basically Bowser's game. Um, let's see. You play as him all the time. The story revolves around Bowser. You're inside of Bowser, basically building his muscles and helping him with his troubles inside of his body to make him stronger so he can get his castle back and help the Mario Bros get their castle back. But their castle's not really taken away, but their castle's in danger because uh, Fawful has taken over Bowser's castle and he, of course he's going to use it to take over the whole entire Mushroom Kingdom. So they kind of have to work together and to get the Mario Bros back in the Mushroom Kingdom and Bowser back in power. Now I'm gonna spoil some. Now I really shouldn't, but I'm gonna Alright. At a little bit into the game, like a little bit, Bowser turns huge thanks to the Mario Bros helping him. And you can get to battle his castle. Now you blow into the DS and he blows fire. I find that amazing because that is just really fun to do you're blowing in DS and he shoots fire you do all this other stuff on the like touch screen and stuff and Bowser does it that's like the highlight of this game Mario Bros are still fun to play as I love the super moves and stuff but Bowser is just like the star in this game 
Now, the art in this game is very stunning. I love the art. Um, it's n always nice to look at. Uh, Bowser's gameplay is just platforming and stuff like that. Um, burning trees, you like rafting, you like you're punching stuff. Basically, all that stuff. Um, battling. Bowser does a lot of battling. Um, well, it's an RPG, so what do you expect? Uh, Mario's gameplay is okay, but in a good way. See, I find that gameplay to get a little boring, but then it's always the Bowser part to look up. Speaking of the Mario gameplay, say if Mario dies or Luigi dies, uh, Mario and Luigi will go run over to their bro and pick him up and help them if like in battle like basically do all that but before all that Mario screams Luigi if he dies or Luigi screams Mario it's kinda obvious what he screams and um, I just find that really good because I never would I never thought that would really happen I just thought they would just die and that's pretty much it I thought he just like fade away and then you would probably have to like revive him or something like that but I liked it a lot I mean that was actually a good idea Also, with Bowser and Mario's um, RPG like battling form, you can actually dodge battles or run away from them if you accidentally get in them. Um, it is actually very difficult to control the Mario Bros. Now, you only control them with the A button for Mario, the B button for Luigi, uh, and the two top buttons, the X and Y buttons, are for Bowser. Um, X is for punches and Y is for flamethrowers. Speaking of those flamethrowers, I love those flamethrowers. It's so awesome. I mean, I kill those like, like everything in like one shot if you get it excellent, but you have to be lucky like me. I'm gonna rate it with uh, 8.7 out of 10 for its nice presentation, a finally different story, something new to look at, and its authentic artwork. I just love it pretty much the whole entire package but obviously I don't love it all I would have gave it a 9 but you know that's my review that's the way it's gonna be and watch my other videos because they are cool